If you had to pick three top supplements for longevity, kind of which three would you pick? You're only allowed three. That's a great question. Uh, hmm. There are a lot of interesting ones. So, uh, uh, well, one I would uh, definitely pick is uh, microdosed uh, lithium. So, uh, because we see there is a lot of great science behind it. There have been done clinical trials where even a very low dose of lithium is given to uh, people with uh, cognitive impairment and pre-Alzheimer's. And uh, we see it can slow down the cognitive decline in humans uh, on the condition the clinical trial lasts long enough. Uh, so uh, ideally not a few months, but uh, ideally six months or much uh, longer. Uh, but we also see in a lot of scientific studies that in regions in the world where there is much more lithium in the drinking water, um, that uh, the, there is, uh, let's say, less mortality in those areas and less suicide risk too, because lithium it's been used as a mood stabilizer uh, to treat uh, bipolar disorder, but that's in much, much higher doses. Uh, um, so we are speaking of microdose lithium, um, which is a dose which is a few hundred times slower than lithium given as a drug uh, to treat uh, manic uh, uh, periods or, or let's say bipolar disorder uh, where people have these very high mood swings. But even in low, very low doses of lithium, uh, microdose lithium, we also see a mood stabilizing effect apparently uh, in, in studies uh, done in animals and in humans. Um, but uh, there's a lot of great science that uh, lithium, uh, yeah, reduces mortality in humans. Uh, and can slow down brain aging. And uh, it also has all kinds of interesting effects. It uh, can upregulate epigenetically specific genes uh, that create a protein that protects the brain. Um, it has uh, other interesting effects on, uh, let's say, uh, protein homeostasis. Uh, so it can improve autophagy, so digestion of proteins, uh, because protein accumulation is one of the reasons why we age and so on. So I think microdose lithium, uh, is like one milligram of lithium or 300 micrograms of lithium per day uh, is, is a very interesting uh, in, uh, longevity ingredient. Another interesting one is um, uh, alpha uh, ketoglutarate, uh, AKG. Uh, the calcium form, uh, that's important because most supplements, they just provide alpha-ketoglutarate, not calcium alpha-ketoglutarate, but we see that the study is done in uh, animals uh, where we see that uh, AKG extends lifespan and health span, specifically in elderly uh, animals, uh, that it's the calcium form. So, But AKG or alpha-ketoglutarate is a very interesting molecule. Uh, it occurs naturally in our bodies. Uh, when we age, levels decline. It's a fuel for our mitochondria. So these are the tiny little uh, cell organelles that provide energy in the, uh, in, in, in the process to, in doing so, they need uh, alpha ketoglutarate. Um, it also has epigenetic effects. So AKG is an important, uh, let's say substrate for very important epigenetic modifying enzymes called TET enzymes. Um, they, uh, they are involved in, in, in the metal uh, aspects of, of our DNA, the methylation. And um, interestingly, AKG works together with vitamin C in that regard. So a lot of people talk about vitamin C as an antioxidant, but vitamin C also has a lot of epigenetic effects. And that's why we combined uh, in our nutraceutical vitamin C with alpha ketoglutarate, because those are two uh, substrates for the TET enzymes, which are involved uh, in, in, uh, in methylation processes. Uh, and in the epi, uh, epigenetic maintenance in, in, in general. So I think alpha ketoglutarate would be a second interesting one. Um, for a third one, there are so many others. Fisetin uh, <laughs> is very interesting um, as, 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 as a substance, uh, but I think also uh, glucosamine. Uh, it's, it's something that's very, let's say, well-known. Uh, glucosamine is often used uh, to improve joint health as a supplement, uh, so you can go out and buy it in every store. It's important, by the way, to buy uh, glucosamine sulfate, not just uh, glucosamine uh, without a sulfate form. Um, there's a lot of discussion about this, but uh, uh, yeah, it's a very long story also, uh, because some doctors still are skeptical about uh, glucosamine. Does it really improve joint health? Uh, yes, but it's very important to use the right form of glucosamine. Uh, so you need to use a sulfate form and ideally also a more crystalline, very pure, pure supplement, uh, because uh, the quality of the supplement is very uh, important. And, and some trials don't show effects of glucosamine on joint health. 
uh, but uh, it's because they didn't use a sulfate form or not a high quality form and etc. But uh, that's another discussion, perhaps for another talk. Uh, but glucosamine, very little people know it can also extend lifespan. Uh, so if you give glucosamine to animals, they live longer. And uh, also glucosamine is one of the very few or uh, supplements associated with increased lifespan in humans or reduced mortality. So they have done large studies in, in the US and in Europe where they looked at, at uh, people and they looked at the supplements they took and they looked at do, do these people live longer. And as expected, most supplements did not uh, reduce mortality in humans. Uh, they didn't have an effect on lifespan, but only a very few had and uh, among them were uh, glucosamine. Uh, so glucosamine was associated with reduced mortality in humans quite considerably, actually. And there was also a study quite recently in the British Medical Journal where they found that uh, also one of the very little or few supplements associated with reduced uh, cardiovascular problems or mortality was again glucosamine. And that's very interesting because glucosamine is a component of the extracellular matrix which is the glue that glues together our cells. Uh, but we see more and more that actually a lot of supplements or ingredients that can extend lifespan acts or are components of the extracellular matrix. Uh, and that's interesting, like also hyaluronic acids can also extend lifespan. It's, an uh, it's a component of the extracellular glue that glues our cells together. Uh, acetyl glucosamine, uh, not to, to be confused with glucosamine because it has different effects, uh, but also acetyl glucosamine uh, has been uh, shown to extend lifespan. Um, and the glucosamine too and chondroitin too actually. So, uh, so that's, that's, I think glucosamine is also very interesting, but make sure you use uh, the right uh, form. Um, so these were, this would be like three uh, interesting supplements, but there are many others of course. Yes. Yeah.